Hello Collective, this is Renee and welcome back. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Um, we're going to go ahead and get a love message for you. Now if you are drawn to this message, um, then this message is meant for you. If it's in your feed and you're, you're drawn to the title, to the picture, this message is meant for you. So we'll go ahead and get into it. We're going to go ahead and get some messages and then we'll go ahead and get into the tarot. Okay? So let's get some messages for the collective. What does the collective's person want to say to them? Message for the collective. What does their person want to say? What do they need to say at this time? I don't know how those cards always get in there. Let's see. What does their person want to say to them? Bear, give me a message. What does the person need to convey at this time? Okay, run away. Would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. You know, someone just sees being alone with you as something that makes them happy. You know, that's what I'm getting. Like, just leaving the world behind and just spending that time with you. You know, someone is thinking about you a lot. This may be someone that you're with, someone that's thinking about you, someone who wants to be with you. You know, this person is head over heels for you. I'm feeling, you know, they think about you constantly. You've left an impact on their heart, you know, even if they're not able to say it to you directly. I feel like this person feels for you very deeply, you know, even if they haven't had the gall, the nerve, the, I want to say gumption, you know, I feel like this person is kind of nerdy, but uh, maybe good with their hands. Right? That's what I'm getting. I feel like this person is staying busy. They're, you know, working on things at home. Okay, we have mother wounds. My mother is a big influence on my behavior. Now, as an adult, I have challenges with connecting to the feminine, to the divine feminine energy within me and externally. So, yes, yes, ma'am. You know, you know, if this is, if you're a female watching this about a male, males are sensitive too. Don't get that wrong. Don't get it twisted. Males are sensitive. Males have to go through healing. Males need time just as well as females do. So males, if, if you're a female and you're thinking about, you know, the divine male, the divine male is very sensitive to your needs. They're very sensitive because that was instilled into them by a woman, right? So, I mean, they have the same sensitive areas you do. They have the same sensitive feelings you do, you know? So don't think about a masculine as just this person who holds back their feelings and don't show emotion because some of them do. You know, there are men out there that don't show emotion, that don't want to show that sensitive side. But most men have that sensitive side that they want to show. And most men are vulnerable enough to show that to someone that they truly care about. Right? Okay, we have need time to heal. Right now, I'm in a space where I need to focus on my healing my and self-love. This isn't about you. It's about me. See what I mean? See what I mean? You know, um, I, I feel like this person, whether it be male or female, I feel like this person is sensitive. They have a sensitive side where they're vulnerable, where they cry, where they think about you, where they're, you know, just deep in thought yearning. Okay. I, I, I feel like this person is very deep. Okay very emotional but only when it comes to people where they know 
that it's safe to be vulnerable around. So are you that safe person? Okay. So let's get some more energy. How does this person feel? What does this person want to say to the collective? What does this person want to say to the collective? Okay, we have unclear. I don't know how I feel about this connection anymore. You know, maybe you've spent time apart. Maybe you're at a distance at the moment. And maybe there hasn't been any contact for some of you. So I, I feel like this person is kind of feeling like out of sight, out of mind. You know, that's how, that's what I'm getting. You know, this person may think about you from time to time. But if you cut them off, if you've ghosted them, then, you know, they're going to lose interest after a while. They're not going to focus on you. Okay, we have father wounds. So this this person had two parents who, you know, they've gone through emotions with both parents here, right? My father is a big influence on my behavior. Now, as an adult, I have challenges connecting to the divine masculine energy within me and externally, right? So I feel like, you know, both parents has inflicted certain energies onto this person. And now they're going through healing, trying to get through, you know, what these emotions are. You know, maybe the father was really insensitive or maybe the mother was really insensitive, you know. It could go either way. So let's get some more messages. What does this person want to say? What does this person want to say to my beautiful collective? What does this person want to say? Okay, tears. When I think about you, I cry. You know, this person is very sensitive. They think about you. They wonder how you're doing. They wonder how you're doing without them, right? They, they think about you and they feel as though whatever they've done to keep you at a distance, I feel like this person is regretting it. That's the reason why they're, they're going through this healing time. You know, that's why they're so unclear about where things are going, how they feel about the connection. Because maybe you've been at a, di at a distance, you know? Maybe you only spend time at work or you only spend time at school. We have the future. I daydream about our future together, going on adventures and growing old together. I want it all, right? So I feel like this person sees you in their future or they want to. They really want to see you in their future. They really want to have this connection with you. Okay. Your perfection, your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure how I attracted in someone. I'm not sure how I attracted in someone like you, but I'm forever grateful. See, the, they think that you're too good for them. You're too pretty. You're too handsome. You're too masculine. You're too feminine. You know, the, they think that you're just perfect in their eyesight. And they wonder how the heck <laughs> that they actually pulled you to be attracted to them, right? But I feel like this attraction is very magnetic. It goes both ways. I feel like it goes both ways. I feel like you find this person very perfect as well. It was time I went within myself to find myself again. I need to figure out what... I want out of life. I need space. You know, they're finding themselves right now. You may not understand it, but that's what they're doing. You may see this as something totally different. As them ghosting you, as them seeing other people, as them trying to, you know, ignore you. But right now, they're, they're focused on themselves. They're focused on what they want out of life. Will you listen? There's so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me all the way out? 
Will you believe me? You know, I feel like this person is asking, please trust me. I'm not doing this to hurt you. I'm doing this for me. You know, that's what I'm getting from this person. This person really wants you to trust them. Okay, let the past go. Can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down by life? Our past hold us back from our future. Okay, and I feel like it's a lot of past pain that's actually holding you at a distance at the moment. At the moment, it's past pain. It may be on both sides. Maybe not just on their side. Maybe it's on both sides. To where, you know, you may be holding back with this person as well because of things that happened in your past. And they're, they're holding back. They're trying to heal from theirs. You know, maybe it's time to let the past go. My fantasy. You're my fantasy and I have pictures and videos saved of you. And use them for mm, inspiration. I want you. I, <laughs> I feel like this person... They fantasize about you. Okay, collective. They fantasize about you. They may have self-pleasure, right? Thinking about you. Thinking about your connection, you know? Wanting you back. If this is an ex, they think about your time together. You know, the way you feel, the way you look, the way you touch them. You know, so they're, they're thinking about all these things in their fantasies. Okay, soon. I'm going to contact you soon. Okay, so I feel like you're going to get a message from this person very soon. They're going to contact you. They're going to contact you. At the bottom we have my dreams. I've been dreaming about you. In my dreams, we are so free and in love. I wish I could stay there forever. You see what I mean? This person really has a strong connection with you. I feel like you both have a strong connection. You both feel very strongly. That may be the reason why there's distance, maybe no contact. Um, I feel like this person has maybe an, an apology that they have kept from you stored up right um apology that you've been waiting for and maybe haven't received yet i feel like this person is going to contact you very soon to um let you know that they're sorry they haven't been contacting you that they're sorry they haven't you know replied to your text they've been doing this or that okay um and at some point, I feel like there may be an excuse in there. But if you look past the excuse, you'll see the truth. You will. You'll see the truth. Okay, let's go ahead and get some tarot. Give me a message for this person. Give me a message for this person for the collective. Tell me about this person's connection to the, connect, to the collective. Tell me about this person's connection. How are they feeling at the moment? How are they feeling? Okay. Yeah, the four of wands. This person wants some kind of commitment with you. They really do. They want some kind of commitment. But I feel like you and this person are both spending a lot of time alone. Um, I feel like this person is trying to build themselves up because they really want to make you happy. They really want to, you know, give you the things that you need, the things that you want. And I feel like they're not able to do that at the moment. You know, they're not able to provide you with what you really deserve. Right. So they're like the collective. They don't deserve me. They do deserve so much better. So, you know, maybe I should walk away or maybe I should leave this alone. Maybe this should be ended, you know. And, you know, that's not what they want. That's truly not what they want. They want to go on and be happy. They want to have this connection. Okay, give me another message for the collective. 
Where is this connection going? Give me a message. Where is the connection going? Okay, the magician. Yeah. They're creating something. But they feel like there may be some kind of competition. That there may be someone who is maybe in your life. You know, this is something that they want to create. This is something that they want to manifest. But they feel like, you know, there may be another person involved. There may be other people who are like blocking them, keeping them away from their happiness, leaving them out in the cold, you know. And I feel like this person wants to take control of their feelings. They want to be able to show you exactly what they're feeling, you know, with this Empress energy, uh, with this Emperor energy. I don't know why I keep saying Empress. I keep saying Emperor, Empress for that one. But yeah, I, I really feel like this energy, th there's some secrets that need to be revealed. There's some information that needs to come out. There's some negative feelings that need to be released. We have the high priestess and the devil. You know, we have the um, ace of cups. So someone's really pouring their feelings out here, you know. Someone's really sad about this connection not going where they thought it would, okay. And, you know, I feel like you and this person haven't been talking you haven't been communicating, and I feel like they miss you. They really miss you, okay? Um, but they're waiting for things to be balanced when they may never be, you know? They're waiting for you to open up and make them a priority when maybe you never will, you know? Um... But they're waiting for a sign, you know, something to be revealed to them. Give me a message. What is the outcome? What is the outcome? Give me a message. What is the outcome? They're going to bring in some kind of offer, some kind of proposal. But they're taking it at their own time. They're waiting for their own time for this. They're not trying to move fast in this situation. They're slowing down. You know, they're, they're moving at a crawl here. Right, because they're focused on, they're really focused on this healing. But they want to make an offer. They want to give you some kind of offer, some kind of invitation. You know, there is some kind of surprise here that maybe you're not expecting, that you're not seeing. There's, there's something coming forward. But I feel like they're going to do it in their own time. That's basically what it boils down to. Okay, give me a, give me a timeline. Give me a message. Give me a timeline for this person. What is the timeline for this person for this connection? Eight months. Okay, eight months. We have your experience and hesitation. Be clear with your desires and the time frame is within, within 10 months. Okay. And I, I feel like you're both hesitating on both sides. It's not just their side. It's both sides. I feel like there's ego on both sides. There's pride on both sides. Uh, there may even be healing on both sides. Right. Um, but I really feel like the situation can be fixed. It can be saved. Right? Let's get a message. Yeah, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. 
And I feel like that's exactly what's getting in the way is pride. You know, someone doesn't want to make the first move. Someone doesn't want to make the first action. What other messages do we have? We'll get another oracle card and then we'll get an angel number. Okay, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So there's some kind of addiction, some kind of codependency that's that's stopping this. It could be drinking, it could be alcohol, it could be marijuana, it could be, you know, something else. But um, I definitely feel like pride is a huge factor. Pride has to do with a lot of this connection because they're waiting for you to make a move and you're waiting for them to make a move. So, I mean, you're both stuck in this healing energy and... What if neither one of you makes a move, you know, you know, they're ready to make some kind of offer, but when, you know, th that I know that's what you're saying. I know that's what you're saying. Okay. They're going to make this offer, but when are they going to make this offer? I'm tired of waiting. Okay. But I mean, love does what it does. Okay, we have 111, destiny. So you you and this person are destined to be together. You know, you just have to follow that guidance. Follow what you feel. Listen as your intuition helps to guide you to what you are manifesting. The inner whispers are helping you to create all that is that you desire. Listen, lean in, and follow your soul. Life is always happening to me. I am allowing myself to lean in to what feels good. That's your affirmation. Okay. Let me speak that again. Life is always happening for me. I am allowing myself to lean in to what feels good. Okay. So this, this situation here is destined. You and this person are destined to be together. But pride can stop you, right? Codependency can hinder it. So that's something that needs to be resolved in the situation. Okay? So that is what I have for you, my lovely, my lovely, lovely collective. Okay? If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. And of course, you know, please think about supporting my channel and hit that like button. I truly appreciate it. I truly love you all. And until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.